Are you tired of soldering fumes in your face? Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I'm going to try to keep this one short. Uh, but what I'm doing today is I'm going to try to make myself a DIY fume extractor. Really cheap. So, uh, you know, when you're doing electronic stuff or uh, quadcopters, flight controllers, motors, whatever, lots of soldering going on, um, you know, this this stuff, you don't want to be breathing it in. It's not good for you. So I figured I would try to make a fume extractor um, and not spend a lot of money on it. But anyway, what I've come up with is I ordered a couple uh, computer case fans. These came from eBay. They were under $2 each. Uh, I believe they did come from China, so it took a little while to get here. You can go to your local computer store, Best Buy, choose Amazon, choose eBay, whatever. You can find these around. Um, these happen to be 12 volt fans and they are 120 millimeters across, kind of big, but um, figured they'd move some air. So uh, 120 millimeters equates to about four and three quarters inches, just so you know. So together um, you're just under 10 inches from one side to the other. Uh, so, this is part one. Got a couple fans. Part two is I went over to the local Dollar Tree and got a couple in case I mess up. They're only a dollar, but just some of these simple plastic picture frames. So this one's for, this one's for an 8x10. So I should be able to take the two fans and uh, put them together and have them just fit on this thing. So uh, what, I, what I think I'm going to do, since I got two of these, I can afford to mess one up, but um, hopefully it works okay the first time. I'm going to take some wood, wood screws, you know, sharp, uh, sharp tip, coarse threaded wood screws, and just go straight through the hole into the plastic to hold it there. Then I can take a marker and trace the inner edge of the fan travel here on both of them. So I'll get a couple circles so that I can then go into the garage and cut out um, various methods, whatever. I'll probably try to use a Dremel. The skill saw would, or sorry, the jigsaw would probably be a little too violent for this plastic. But uh, hopefully I'll end up with a couple holes and just enough meat left in between the holes to run the screws through. Um, possibly I'll end up mounting the fans from behind, uh, trying to make a nicer edge. Uh, although if I leave them on the top, then then I can, um, if I leave them on the front rather, I can then put uh, fan covers, uh, mesh mesh covers over there, so I don't nothing gets stuck into them, like a finger or the tip of a tool or wire or something. So anyway, that was my plan. So uh, probably the next time when we come right back, we'll show you how with these mounted to the plastic, and then trace out the circle and uh, start cutting. Okay, so here it is. Uh, I just got back from the garage, uh, took those wood screws and screwed it in there, holding it in. They're a little heavier than I thought, so the thing, I don't know, the thing seems a little unbalanced. I might have to actually add some weight to the, to the back part here. Um, this plastic is more brittle than I expected. I thought it would be softer plastic, so if you're going to try this, when you're if you're mounting it this way you probably want to pre-drill the holes with a smaller drill bit than the size of the screw you're using because one of these here in the middle did crack a little bit um, also it had another piece of plastic that kind of folded back over here to hold the the picture in and I went ahead and cut that off because it was just causing problems with the screws poking through so anyway now that it's mounted um, I will use a marker to trace out the circular pattern that the fan will make on each one. Remove the fans, cut the circle out, and then put the fans back on. This is, when you get these, they're covered with a sheet of plastic, so, so that's why I am, uh, I'm able to just mark this up on the front. Any cuts and marks that I make will disappear once we pull the plastic off at the end.
All right, so there's the holes cut through. Um, did a decent job. I just put a little, um, I don't even know the name of the tool, and but in the Dremel, uh, it's a little sharp pointed kind of sanding bit, and I just used it to cut along the line. So worked out pretty good. Um, this thing's very more flimsy than I thought, but um, it, it doesn't have to hold up to much. It's just got to stand there. So uh, I may end up maybe, um, I don't know, gluing some old big heavy nuts or something to the back here just to give it a little more uh, stability in the back because when you put the fans on it's going to want to pull forward. Alright, so there it is. Anyway, ver version 1. Went ahead and found some those computer case screws and I ran them in from the front as you can see and that gives me the benefit of putting the weight of the fans to the rear so it's not so likely to flip forward. It wants to kind of lean back a little bit so anyway uh, so I just tinned up the tips there. I will uh, I'll solder on some appropriate connector probably an XT60 just so it's um, easily used with any of my packs around here. Um, plus I have an XT60 lead to connect off the power supply and connect to this. So, um, anyway, I'll plug it in and we'll see how well it extracts the fumes. Alright, flip on the power supply since I've got it wired up over here with my little squid wire. Turn this on. Definite breeze there. I don't know if you can hear the fans a little bit there. And we will try some try some solder. Oh yeah, you can see the, see the smoke going right at that thing, right away from your face. Nice. See you can see. Oh yeah, see. Pulling it from over here. Nice. So it'll do its job. Get the fumes away from me. Yeah, the window's right there. Usually I have that open. So it's closed right now for making the video. So yeah, there it is. Uh, L super cheap uh, DIY photo frame fume extractor. Uh, let's let's call it version one. I, I, I could do this a lot better. Uh, major thing, I don't like these cracks, but that's because I didn't, uh, I don't know if you can even see them. Oh, yeah, you can see that three-way crack right there. That's from uh, not pre-drilling, so I'll have to do that on the next one. But uh, we'll see how long this one holds up and move the fans over to this other, other frame that I got the same day. I mean, it's a dollar, so... Um, Anyway, thought I would share that. Real cheap, real simple. If you like it, if you don't like it, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, whatever. Uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you want to see more of this stuff. I appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. If I can get back up to a thousand subscribers, uh, not back up, but if I can get up to a thousand subscribers, then YouTube should start paying me some money again. So anyway, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.